hey guys welcome back to my channel um sorry for this little glare i just don't i want to keep the light on for this i'm particularly hoping that it won't pick up on camera so much anyway so for today's video as you can tell for the title i'm going to be doing my nail kyo haul so i've already taken out everything that is not mine because i kind of did a group order um i ordered a ton of things that i wanted from there and i could afford like really cheap and then if anyone wanted something to save on shipping um i already got it for them so here is everything that i ordered and I'm gonna post a picture of how everything was delivered before I opened it on the screen because I didn't want to like film while I organized everything. And then after I'm done filming, I'm gonna go through everything again and be sure that it's actually my items and I'm not missing anything. And I also want to apologize for the sound in the background. Um, I think someone's cutting yard outside so yeah um starting off with this so first of all whenever you buy as you can see each of these are individual orders you can put them in the same tab and end up paying i don't think you have to pay the fee for each item if you do that but you can't really do that all the time because um sometimes items may get sold out so there's no reassurance if you put everything on the waiting before you pay it to get it secured anyway so they always put your first name of your account that you have and then they put a number which is like the order number or an id number and i think they sleeve each one individually i could be wrong but we're just gonna find out and see so i've already opened this one and took out things that aren't mine because i found a gym and set at an affordable price but at the time i did my first neo kill batch i had already found his one and two from separately so here when i found the complete set i had to obviously someone had to help me claim the other two so here are the three that i was missing and that is for the epilogue on stage postcards and as you can see there's the bacon i didn't think they would send this so I'm really happy because I usually like when sellers actually send me the out cases. I don't know why it's weird, but I just like having it. Next, going with this one. So as I mentioned, for lots of these, I couldn't find trades for sauna. So I kind of just went ahead and um, purchased them on my own if I found it at a good price. So this is Sana's um, Twice Coaster, Lane 1, I want to say, the lenticular. I do have Momos, but like I said, if you watched my video wherever I was sorting out Momos, um, the person who I traded didn't have the card, so I am trying to see if I can find a Momo with the card. And because Sana's is pink, I'm the perfectionist side of myself wants to have the other one, the equivalent, so I'm going to have to find Momos, but it has to be the color mint. And then this one, I think that it's all right, but I really don't like, is that they have actual like tape, not washi tape. And that's why I feel like they, what's it called? They repackage all of these their way because of the tape that's all similar in all of them. So this one is the group photo card with Sana. So like I said, I could never find a trade for this one. So I obviously had to. Um, find it. So this is from the story begins. I don't know why the camera is focusing. Moving on to another on stage. So this is one of my mini photo cards that um, the way that I collect is if I don't have OT7, like I don't mean like OT7 complete set. I just mean like a set of OT7. Then I collect Jimin only for that. So since I don't have a set for on stage epilogue, I decided to collect Jimin's. Now this is one of my slow sets because I don't really, I'm not really going really into collecting these as a high priority. So if I find affordable price and I find the card that I need, then I get it. But if I don't, then I just, I'm slowly collecting it. Um, and then this one. This one is Hobie's Journey PC. Um, 
to see for these, you have to make sure that it has to say the, say the not for sale and that this is actually readable because I did find some that were really cheap. Thankfully, my order got canceled because someone else bought it before me. But after looking at all of them, I realized that the one that was really cheap was actually a fake. And then here is Jen's, and this is the last ones that I needed to complete my set for Journey. I do have a gnome Jin somewhere in there, I just I have a really big pile. And then this is Sian's, if I can get the camera to focus. One of her stadium, this is the With Drama. So this is if you bought the albums during the time that they were giving out these photo cards. And then this is Sana's photo card. So this photo card actually took me a while to get. Like, it was one of the last items to be delivered to the warehouse. And I was getting kind of worried because, um, I'm sorry that the light is too much. It just wouldn't deliver. And it was one of the things that I bought before I purchased some of my BTS items. And then this is the other one that was also worrying me. Okay, I'm gonna show this before I move it off camera, but this is Jimin's Happy Mustard, the fourth one, flag. So I managed to find the mustard one, not from the Weaver's restock. By the time that I came to Jimin's flag, I sold out when I literally had it in cart. I managed to find someone who was selling his mustard one, the fifth mustard, so I bought that one. I already had his pink one, and that completes the set of all of the three flags that they have gotten out so far. So I've gotten into collecting TWICE's pre-order benefits on Neokyo, well especially my car Japan. They actually have them at a very affordable price. So this is one complete set. Now the outbox is a little bit damaged but that's alright as long as the photo cards are okay. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for the weird cut. I had to take care of some business. Anyway, so here is this one. Like I was saying, I found it for a very affordable price. And it was actually more than one. So, very excited. So here is two of the Sana's Lane 1 holographic photo cards. I don't know why the camera has lately not been zooming in. Moving on to the next item. This is Jimin's epilogue on stage photo card. It is the 7 out of 7, which is the last one that I needed to complete this set of his. Now, if you do follow me for a long time, you know that this set, I actually started collecting Jimin before I even had a chance to be able to get the OT7, which is the only reason why for that set, it doesn't really apply to the remainder like this one. Next item. So as you know, BTS has released the Mirror Lucky Jaws and I already had these that I had purchased on my own. I decided to collect, these are not Lucky Jaw, um, these are T-Money cards. I always get them confused. So I decided to collect his T-Money cards. So this is the idol one with the little painting. What's it, I don't know if it's like a painting or what. Moving on to Sana again. So this is her Twice Coaster Lane 2. Now, originally with this one, I had Momo's, but I ended up trading it for a photo card that I thought was this one because of the purple border. But in reality, it was pre-order benefit photo card. Okay, then this is Sana's Twice Coaster Lane 2 little bookmark. Now, sadly, as I was trying to get it out, I bent it, so hopefully it bends back to normal. Uh, you can also cut this, bend it, but I just like to keep it straight, so hopefully in my binder, whenever I place it in there, it stays straight. Here is the other Tea Money card. So this is the other map of the Soul 7 that they released. They released two of them. I only managed to secure one because the group order that I joined for these specifically got canceled. But now I finally has his. And then this one is another Sana photo card. So this is Sana's light 
I always say Heike. This is her twice a year photo card, one of them, because there's a total of three for this album. And then moving on to the next item, I'm trying to get everything out but stay organized. So this is actually a set that I got for a good price. Now some of these, I think they're pre-order benefits, so I already possibly have it. Some of them I don't, so this is a fancy photo card. And then here, I think this is a pre-order benefit for Feel Special. This is another album photo card. Another pre-order benefit. I know because I have this one already. When I ordered my albums recently, I ended up getting an extra one. So these are all pre-order benefits. And then this is one of her The Year of Yes photo cards. So I still specifically need to collect these. So I kind of went ahead of myself. Instead of waiting what I would get in my group orders, because I'm usually always slow when it comes to filling out forms and stuff. And I went ahead and purchased Jimin's Holographic for a Universal Music Store. So now I have an extra one, but I actually ended up finding a cheaper one. And so usually every time my orders for the Lucky Draws, it always got canceled. So I thought that the one that cost me a little bit more would get canceled and it didn't get canceled. So now I like have two extra lucky draws. So here is another gem and lucky draw. And these come in their own sleeves. I'm just taking it out of the one the seller put it in. So here is another one. Let me see if I can make a little bit more room here. Okay, then this one is finally Namjoon's The Map of the Soul Journey photo card. So once again, I'll put that over here. And then over here we have another Stacy photo card. I think this is her other album PC that I needed because for some reason, for their debut album, you get two photo cards in your album. So it was easier to trade. But for Stay Dumb, they only did one photo card. So I had to obviously purchase the other one. And here it is. And then this is a pre-order benefit that from the BTS store. So I was kind of nervous about this one because on the picture, it showed the actual deluxe album, and I don't want to pay shipping for a heavy uh, album. I'm not going specifically into collecting the pre-order benefits. This one, I really wanted the postcard out of anything. They also did a poster, but I don't really collect posters, so I want to stay away from getting the poster. So this is the one of the pre-order benefits and the one that I got with my album was actually the um, notebook so yeah and then moving on to the last thing which I'm really excited about because it is something that I've been wanting it took me forever to find this at an affordable price this is his memories blu-ray 2017 which I am finally happy because this completes his Blu-ray photo cards that I needed. And I was actually not really sure if the seller was going to ship it with the card thing. Okay, so this is his 2017 of the camera wants to focus again. I'm very happy that the seller actually shipped it with the little postcard thing. Because I did want the postcard more than anything as well. I'm going to try and take it out without damaging anything. So here it is, and it is front and back. And I'm super excited to finally have this one. So that was my Neokyo haul. My experience with Neokyo, this is actually the second time that I've purchased off them. Uh, it's really easy to use the website. They don't have an app, sadly, like Bai, but they do have a website. It also gives you prices in USD, and their fee is only a one-time charge thing. So like I said, it charges for every item, but let's say you find two items that you want and you request to buy them, and thankfully they're approved at the same time. Um, so you actually get a chance to pay for those in a single transaction, and you'll still only be charged that one-time Neokyo fee. They're shipping, they're only doing a C mail, which takes from two to three months, and they're doing FedEx, which takes from three to four days. Um, I'm gonna see if I can. 
Okay, I dimmed my light a little bit because it was getting too flash over here. But yeah, those are the only type of two shipping methods they have right now. Obviously, choosing FedEx is a little bit more expensive. It's like choosing DHL. They do it based on weight, not based on how many items there is. So depending on the weight is depending how much you'll have to pay. I can't really remember what to say or anything. Oh, actually, there is pros and cons. Pros, items are really cheap and everything really easy to use. And it's actually faster than Bai because Bai... The item has to be listed on Mercari three days, and then it's going to appear on Bai. But on Neokyo, the item can actually be listed in a couple of minutes. Or if you're using um, Mercari Japan's official website, not Neokyo's or Bai's website, you can actually copy the link and use that link to go and buy the album on Neokyo. So it'll buy it for you ASAP. The cons is that sometimes they take a, lot, a while. And so many people have been using Neokyo that now they've actually had to pause the buying process. So like you, there will be some days where you can absolutely not use Neokyo to buy anything at all. You have to wait until they reopen the buy request. But other than that, I think it's very good and everything arrives safely. Um, I'm still gonna have to go back and double check that everything that I ordered is actually here. Other than that, I think that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Next week's video, I'll be sure to have one with sorting photo cards because clearly I need to do one. And I did order more sleeves because I underestimated how many sleeves I needed. But yeah, that is all I have for this video for now. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have an amazing day, evening, or night.